Next in the catalogue is obviously Grey Day and another one with various sort of differences. This one is obviously the UK 7 inch with Memories as the B side and different labels. This has got Carl's Fate and the B side of the label. Um, other side is here and Madness is up here. And when you look at the other single, um, one's matte and one's gloss, but you won't notice um, probably on camera. But exactly the same covers. This has actually got Lee's feet down here. And um, other side is up here. And Madness is down at the bottom. So the A and the B side on these 7 inches are different. 12 inch. This is Italian. Uh, as you can see. And basically all it is is uh, grey day and with this Nutty Boys logo down at the bottom here um, which is used on Return Lost Palmer 7 is they quite literally just done grey day and the B side Return Lost Palmer 7 and the B side uh, the B side of uh, Return Lost Palmer 7 by the way if anybody's got the vinyl and doesn't have an auto return on their record deck uh, it's recorded on the concentric run-out groove with a sort of hammer and saw sound so it will just continuously play that forever um, until you lift the needle off uh, so obviously done deliberately but the, yeah it's literally that's just two singles on one 12 inch so not, not anything too interesting however my CD version of Grey Day and um, what I've done is I've done uh, essentially version 2 of the label which is Carl's Fate but I have done the cards with the A and the B side of both of them so I've kept all the artwork for both of them and I just did a card for the 12 inch because it's the tracks are no different whatsoever and I have got a sew on patch so I've done a card with the sew on patch for Grey Day and obviously what came a grey day which is a nightmare to get and is the hardest one I think to make is the cassette version and the cassette version uh, was the catalogue number here somewhere Z by 112 um, so I've got the cassette now as a CD and it basically all folded in there and the cassette went in this is a miniature version I'll put a cassette in the back or a picture of one and then I'll scan the cassette in and I've got side one these discs only hold about five minutes and it's six minutes long with the A and the B side so I've had to do them separately so we've got side one and side two so I've got grey day on one disc and memories on the other um, as I say wouldn't quite fit on but together I mean, you've literally got, you know, what the cassette was, but it's on CD, and it fits inside the box, as the cassette did, and then the little tab folded over and went in the cut. So we've got a CD version of the Grey Day cassette. So that's Grey Day. Shut up. Um, here is the 7 inch. Um, this bit at the bottom, uh, Virgin didn't bother to do on their sleeve either. As a collector, you know these covers, you know, and it's quite annoying when you buy a set that's quite expensive, and then it turns out not to be what you hoped it was going to be. And there's the B side, and the 12 inch. Again, see this had it at the bottom, and the B side just had Never Asked Twice, which is also known as Airplane. Not much difference, covers again are pretty much identical other than the extra track and the catalogue number, buy it, in the singles buy. Although the 12 inch is actually 411 and the singles 2 minutes 52 so they are different versions. So what I've done is I've got my 
CD single, which I have bothered to put this on. Um, again, I've cleaned up all the lines and everything. You've got both tracks, but I've just put in both catalogue numbers because I've got the single and the 12 inch on here uh, because the covers are just too similar to warrant doing separate ones. Uh, so we've got Shut Up as a single, properly. And a quick update to the Shut Up 7 inch and 12 inch on CD. I've also got my sheet music here, which is very faded. Lots of uh, bashes and some creases down here, but I still have it. You can see it's very creased at the top, but there it is. And I've actually tidied it up and done a new version to go in with my CD. So it's just a little addition. So my collection is coming on now. It must be love. Now again, a couple variations on this and uh, only really with covers. Uh, the original is this one, must be love, with shadow on the house and it's by 134 re-released by Virgin, same cover um, and they just stuck that at the top really and changed the B-side but as I say re-releases is just banging it back out again over and over to milk the cash cow so I'm not interested in those particularly but we do have the Japanese copy with the Japanese lyric sheet And that had a different B-side as well. But there's the Japanese. Now with it must be love, they did a 12 inch, which is here. And for whatever reason, it just says S by rather than the single which was by. Yeah, it's the same single, the same B-side. It's not extended, there's nothing different whatsoever with it, and it's not by it. So I've no idea why they did that, and even the labels, uh, it's the same labels. So it's lit quite literally, it's just a 7 inch single on a 12 inch piece of vinyl. And somewhat pointless really, but they did it. My 7 inch or my it must be love is it must be love and I've just done the same with this one is the B side and I've just put both catalogue numbers on there and I have the Japanese lyric sheet to say and the re-release I didn't bother with because it's the same they just printed an extra bit at the top it must be love now this is a Dutch limited edition special dance mix but it is in fact the A side is Mrs Hutchinson for some reason that is a Dutch only but that's actually got the buy it so that's possibly why they did the S buy in the UK um, there you go that's side one and then side two has the A and the B side of it must be love. So a bit of an odd one. So I've now done Mrs. Hutchinson. And it's the same both sides. It's exactly the same as the 12 inch. Um, just has this on the back. Just this piece here is slightly different. But we have that now done on a vinyl CD. Cardiac Arrest, which again had a couple variations. There's the 7 inch, which has a pink label, and the 12 inch is white with madness written all through it in blue. And the 7 inch, I say, the B, the backs, you know, um, has got dirty, but it's the same back on the 7 inch and 12 inch, other than the catalogue number. And there's a bit up there on the 12 inch. Um, so sorry, I have cleaned these up a lot. The 7 inch 
uh, bowler hat is a type of, which is hat, and it crosses at the A, and the 12 inch pops on Thursday, which will be top, and it crosses on the D and not the A, so it's actually a different crossword, and that's the extended version, and it had the little cut out piece at the top, which obviously I didn't cut out, ruin the cover. So what I've got is my CD version now, which is the 7 inch, and that has the pink label, and then I've got the 12 inch, uh, as you can see, and it's got the difficult to get in focus, but there's the 12 inch. And then also what we had was the Japanese uh, 7 inch which was actually in the city. Uh, they released it on the back of the adverts. Obviously any Madness fan will know. So that's a 7 inch for in the city. And there we have the label. A lot of these was um, jukebox ones. So it had in the city and shut up so cardiac arrest wasn't actually on there um, but it did obviously come with the lyric sheet so you've got it in English and then you've got them um, in Japanese so there's cardiac arrest dash in the city